We're here today at the Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium as we wait to see the Razorbacks go head to head with the Vanderbilt Commodores. I'm your host, Sydney Davis, and this is Countdown to Kickoff. Welcome back. We have our analysts Brandon Davis and Jonathan Teal here to break down today's game. Let's see what they have to say. Thank you, Sydney. I'm Brandon Davis and I'm here with Jonathan Teal and we're going to break up today's matchup between Arkansas and Vanderbilt. So for Arkansas, they're coming off a 23-0 blowout win against Tulsa last week, which is giving the team a huge amount of confidence at, for a season that's been very depressing for Razorback fans. And Connor Nolan did a phenomenal job as a true freshman to star, but this game will feature the return of Ty Story, who I believe is definitely become a leader for this team. And he will be back after his uh, head injury against uh, Ole Miss and Little Rock. And also for the, for the Razorbacks, they also have the emergence of a sophomore running back, Rakeem Boyd, who had a, who's had multiple, has had two hundred yard gains against Alabama and Ole Miss and was one yard shy of, of repeating that feat against Tulsa. So I think for Arkansas, if they get this offense rolling, they can have a really good chance against Vanderbilt. Yeah, I think Vanderbilt's going to be really hard to compete with, Brandon. Uh, Derek Mason is a phenomenal coach, and they always have their team ready to play. And with the soft, or with the senior quarterback, Kyle Shermer, he's one of the best quarterbacks that Vanderbilt has had in a very long time. And that passing, that passing attack is going to be rough to compete with for Arkansas. But Arkansas and Vanderbilt, it's going to be a very good game. Both teams are going to compete hard. We'll see what happens. All right, thank you, Jonathan. Back to you, Sydney. Thank you, Brandon. Later on, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Razorbacks defensive back Cameron Curl. We'll be right back after this break. We're back, and up next, we have Countdown to Kickoff's Haley Van Fossen with an inside look at what Razorback defensive back Cameron Curl is like off the football field. Thanks, Sydney. Last week, I got the chance to interview number two, Cameron Curl. Here's the interview. Kim, uh, let's play a game. Let's play the question and answer game. All right. All right. Uh, let's start with who's your celebrity crush? Rihanna. All right. What's your favorite class? Uh, very crazy sports leadership. All right. Uh, what major are you? Sports management. Why? Uh, because it's easy. All right. Um, what's your favorite social media? Snapchat. What is your current relationship status? I'm single. Hmm. Uh, what's your favorite ice cream? It's vanilla. That's plain. Um, who's the funniest player on your team? Uh, Rambo. Who's the strangest player on your team? The strangest player on the team? Jordan Curtis. All right. Uh, if you had a million dollars, what would be the first thing you would buy? <laughs> um, a house. House. All right. Um, if you were stuck on a on a if you're stranded on a desert island, what's the first or what's the only thing that you would want? It's a one thing. One thing. A uh, phone. Um, what's your biggest fear? Uh, the dark. Do you prefer a corner or safety? Safety. Who's the hardest guy to get to know on the team? Uh, Chase Hayden. <laughs> Who's your best friend in the whole world? I don't have one. Why? Because. I don't have no best friends. That makes sense. Uh, do you want Kelly Bryant to be Arkansas's quarterback next year? I mean, we got quarterbacks, but I mean, if you want to come, you can come. Yeah. Uh, what's your worst personality trait? That I don't really like people. <laughs> what's your <laughs> What's your best personality trait? Um. I'm a nice person. All right. Well, 
That's all we have for this game, Cam. Sorry. All right, Sydney, back to you. Hannah Ford and Maddie Hartley are here to talk about what it means to be a Razorback fan, discuss the Chad Morris era, and talk about future Razorback commits. Hannah? Thanks, Sydney. I'm Hannah Ford here with Maddie Hartley. Maddie, the Razorback fans have had a tough last few seasons with the coaching transition. What are your opinions on the loyalty of the Hog fans? I think to be a Hog fan, you have to be loyal. These few seasons have been so tough on the team and the fans. I think that the fans are excited for Chad Morris. They stuck with the Hogs through Bielema, and I think that they are excited to see what is to come in this Chad Morris era. I agree. I was at the Little Rock game, and, you know, despite the cold weather, and the rain and it being out of town, you know, the outcome was absolutely amazing. Never seen a more packed game in my life, at Little Rock especially. And so it's, it's nice seeing that we do still have loyal fans. Right. And with the Chad Morris era, he's still getting, you know, amazing recruits like Hudson Henry, the tight end from Little Rock, and then KJ Jefferson, the quarterback from Missouri. What are your opinions on the possibility of us getting the former QB from Clemson, Kelly Bryant? I think Kelly Bryant would be a huge advantage for Arkansas. I think he would be a huge asset. He would help the team tremendously. Arkansas needs a quarterback, and I think he is the man to do the job. You know, Chad is getting paid to win games, and I think Kelly Bryant would definitely help us do that. I agree, and, you know, with, in, with him being from Clemson, Chad Morris used to be the offensive coordinator there. He already knows Morris's offense, and he can easily help train, you know, whatever upcoming freshman quarterbacks we have to help them succeed in their, you know, sophomore, junior, and senior exactly. year. Yeah, so. could not agree more. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Maddie. I'm Hannah Ford. Sydney, back to you. To Hog fans, football season opens the door for early morning tailgates, finding the perfect game day attire, quality family time, and so much more. We throw it over to Josh Howard as he takes the time to pinpoint these Razorback traditions. Thanks, Sydney. I'm Josh Howard, and I'm here at the Arkansas versus Vanderbilt game. And we're meeting up today with some Hog fans tailgating before the game, trying to learn about their game day tailgating traditions. Let's get started. I'm here with Tim, one of the tailgaters here, and we're here to ask you a couple of questions today, Tim. Um, so what's your favorite tailgating tradition? Uh, probably just getting up at like 8 a.m. to drink a few drinks and play some cornhole. Are you any good at cornhole? No, I'm actually terrible. I'm like one of the worst cornhole players of all time. All right. Are you, are you excited for this Vanderbilt game? Yeah, there's like no way we don't win by 40 points at the bare minimum. 40 points at least, maybe 50, even maybe getting a little crazy going 60. I don't know. Maybe possibly 60 points. No way we don't win. That's super confident. Why do you, why do you think that? We're playing Vanderbilt. That, that's all I got to say. Chad Morris. I don't, who's our quarterback? I don't know who our quarterback is. I don't care who our quarterback is. We're going to win by 50. Easy. All right. You heard it from Tim. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Pleasure talking to you guys, too. We're here with Megan, Hallie, and Belle, some of our tailgaters here, and we're here to ask them a couple questions. So how long have y'all been tailgating here? Um, about five or six years. Okay, and what does a normal kind of tailgating day look like for you? We love Chick-fil-A, so we get Chick-fil-A almost every single time. Oh, yeah. Are there any games y'all play? We do. We actually have Can Gym and then, I guess, cornhole. Bago, Cornhole, whatever, you know, region you're from, however they call it. We have those games out here in the yard. What's your favorite game? Um, I think I'm a Cornhole fan, so Bago. Are you any good? Um, no. <laughs> That's okay. It's perfectly fine. So, what is probably your favorite game you all have tailgated at? Um, do you guys go into the game as well? We did tailgate at the Arkansas-Alabama game, and I did go into that one. Little bit of a heartbreaker, but that's fine. And um, I think we have two years, so it's Alabama and now Vanderbilt. So I don't think I'm going into this game because I want to stay here and hang out. Gotcha. Are you excited for the Vanderbilt game? We are. Hopefully it will come out well. <laughs> well, thank you all for talking with us today. Um, that's it. Back to you, Sydney. Thank you, Josh. Game day sounds like a great experience here in Fayetteville. Next up, we'll be talking about today's SEC matchups when we return from this break. We're back on site as the Hogs prepare for an SEC game against Vanderbilt. We wrap it up as we invite our two analysts, Brandon and Jonathan, to talk about SEC matchups. Thank you, Sydney. 
and today we're going to break up some we're going to break down some week nine top matchups so first let's talk with uh, number nine florida gators versus number seven georgia bulldogs in jacksonville that's going to be a huge game and i think that this game is going to basically determine who will win the sec east i would like to say that both teams are phenomenal but i would i would bet that uh that uh, Georgia would have a better chance. Yeah, and you know, this is a rivalry game. It's a huge game for both teams. It, you're right, it determines the SEC East. Um, this is the first top 10 matchup in this rivalry game since 2008. And I really think Florida's riding a lot of confidence this week. I really think they're gonna have to pull out the win this week. And then we also got uh, K- K- the Kentucky Wildcats at the, the Mizzou, at Mizzou, at versus Mizzou Tigers in Columbia. Now, this is going to be a big game for Arkansas to look at, look at because Missouri will be the season finale for the Razorbacks. And I think, I mean, I think Drew Locke is a phenomenal quarterback, but this Kentucky team is something special this year. I think Kentucky takes this one. I think you're right. I think Kentucky takes this one definitely. Kentucky has a great running game in Benny Snell. They're going to ride that one to the end. Last, last week against Vanderbilt, they only had around 88 passing yards, and I mean, they still won the game. So if Benny Snell can perform the way he has been, then Kentucky's going to win that game. And then last up, we have the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Vanderbilt Commodores. I th- now, both teams are winless in the SEC, and this is definitely going to be a big game for both teams to try to get that first conference win. I think like this is going to be a very competitive matchup between both teams. They're very equally matched, but I think behind Ty Sto- if Ty Story and Rakeem mm-hmm. Boyd can get get things going and this defense can get something going, I think Arkansas gets the dub. I think Arkansas might get the dub in this one, but I'm, you know what, I'm going to say Vanderbilt gets this one. I mean, Kyle Shermer, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC, and their defense is phenomenal. They only held Kentucky to 14 points last week. I mean, if, Ar- if Vanderbilt shows out and Kyle Shermer plays the way he has been this week or this year and he finds his targets, Vanderbilt's going to come out on top on this one. All right. Thank you for a hat. For, thank, thank you for being on the show, Jonathan. Back to you, Sydney. Well, you heard it here first. Thank you so much for counting down to kickoff with us. I'm Sydney Davis, and don't forget to hammer down.